Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. Today I am really excited to share with you what I got at the TJ Maxx yellow tag sale. So if you're not familiar, TJ Maxx does this yellow tag sale, I believe just twice a year. It goes from January to beginning of February-ish, I think just until each individual store runs out of the clearance items. And then they also do it again at the end of the summer. So I did not do this last year, like end of summer, but I did do it last year at this time. And I got some stuff. I didn't really have super great luck of selling it. So when I went to TJ Maxx this time, I kind of went with low expectations. Just wasn't really sure if I'd be able to find anything, but I figured I would get FOMO if I didn't at least try. So I did go to one of my local TJ Maxx's here in Columbus, Ohio, which I will just say right off the bat, Columbus is a very populated area. <laughs> there are a lot of people around. And in the whole Columbus area, I think we maybe only have like four TJ Maxx's taxes, which probably is a lot to some people, but with the amount of people that live in this area, there's a lot of people that go to each individual store. So all that to say, that's pretty much why my expectations were pretty low. The last time that I went to TJ Maxx for this sale, I actually was in a whole different town, a much smaller town. And in my experience, that was easier to find stuff for resale. So if you live in a very populated area like me, you might have a hard time. So yeah, let's see the exact date I went. I believe I went about a week ago. So yeah, it says I went on January 13th. So I believe kind of still in the early stages of the yellow tag sale. And I thought about going again. And honestly, I just have so much inventory right now. You guys will be seeing <laughs> some big hauls in the upcoming weeks. And so I decided to just stick with what I have right here. A lot of this stuff is actually for me and for Ryan. And I think I only got three things to resell because at least for me, the prices were at a point where it was like a good deal on clothes for myself, but not really great prices to sell things and make a decent profit. So most things at my TJ Maxx were priced around $10 and up. There wasn't a lot that was in that like two to $6 mark, which is definitely where I like to keep my inventory. Of course, the great thing about shopping at TJ Maxx at this kind of sale is that almost all of the items will have their original tags. So of course that does matter and I'm willing to spend a little bit more on stuff that's new. But all right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the haul. I have, I believe, 10 things to show you. I ended up spending a total of $82.78. It worked out to be $77 of inventory and then $5.78 of sales tax. So what I'll do is I'll just show you everything that I got for myself and for Ryan, and then I'll save the few things that I got to resell for the end. So up first is very basic, but it's one of the things that I'm most excited about. I got this lounge set and it's just like a black lounge set. It's a really cozy fleece quarter zip and I like the length. It's like a little bit cropped, but not too crazy. And then it just comes with matching bottoms and I'm gonna live in this. I probably will wear this at least once a week. It's so comfortable. I'm super excited. And this was the most expensive thing that I bought. I paid $14, but I feel like that is a super good deal because I really got a sweatshirt and sweats. And like I said, I will get so much wear out of them. I definitely am trying to like up my style game this year because I just have been living in loungewear essentially because I do everything from home. But I'm going to try to like put more outfits together because I do really enjoy fashion. So in a couple months when I lose a little bit of weight and get to where I feel really good, I am gonna like pretty much buy a whole new wardrobe. So get excited for that. It'll be from ThreadUp, of course. Okay, next up something for Ryan. And it was kind of funny because he texted me or I called him, I guess, and said, is there anything that you want me to look for for you? And he said, He's the same as me. He wears a lot of loungewear always. So he said like any workout shirts or sweats or anything like that. And actually in his size and just in the guy section in general, there was like nothing that was on sale at all. But I did find him this shirt. It's pink, but he's colorblind. So he doesn't really even know, whatever. And it says, live in that dog dad life. Is he ever gonna wear this out? For sure not, but in the house, maybe. And this one was only $2, so yeah, I got him that. I also got Ryan some fleece little pajama lounge pants, and he has like 15 pairs of these. He wears them all the time. But these are from Spider, which is a great brand to pick up if you can find it decently cheap. 
and I ended up spending eight dollars this actually wasn't on yellow tag clearance it just was on like normal clearance but I still thought that that was a great deal for some spider lounge pants and he loves these he was like film this video so I can wear them <laughs> this is like really sad like everything I got was lounge but that's what most of the clearance was it was a lot of like sweats and tanks and things like that but I got myself some blank NYC sweats and I have a lot of like rattier sweats. I wanted some that I could like potentially wear out. I mean, I know this is not like the cutest, but at least it looks a little bit better <laughs> than what I have right now. And blank NYC is actually a really good brand. If you can find that brand for pretty cheap, definitely look at comps, but does pretty well. And these I did spend $10 on. I really don't think that's bad at all for a good quality pair of sweats. It says compare at $40, so pretty decent. I would do a try on for you guys, but it's like literally loungewear, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. I also did get this really cute David Bowie sweatshirt for myself. It's like that perfect fit, I feel like, where it's slightly oversized, but not like so oversized that you look terrible in it. And it's a good length to wear with some leggings. And I just really liked like the color of this. I don't have a lot of sweatshirts in this color. And of course, we have to celebrate the icon David Bowie. <laughs> and this sweatshirt I ended up getting for $8. This one I did originally get for myself just to like wear with, you know, sweats or whatever around the house. It's a pretty cheesy print, but that's okay. It says capture and remember it's by Polaroid, but I might keep the tags on it for a little bit, see if I'm actually gonna wear it. And if I don't, then I will resell it. But the reason that I did pick this up is because kind of like a few of the other things that I've shown, it's that good length where it's like, slightly cropped but not too cropped like you're not showing any stomach or anything but just good to wear with like more high-waisted stuff but yeah a little bit cheesier than i like to go but i thought it was pretty happy maybe cute for an instagram pic and this was only two dollars too so that's a big reason why i got it here is another tank that i got just for wearing to work out or going for hikes or whatever I like this print a little bit better. It's from a brand called Hyperspace. It's pretty cool, definitely don't have anything like it. And I did pay $6 for this, which I think I just picked it up and didn't really look at the tag. I think I thought it was more like that $2 mark, but if I'm buying something for myself, I definitely don't mind spending $6. All right, and then these jeans I did get for myself, but I actually did decide that I'm gonna resell them. <laughs> I'll leave the tags on and everything. But I've been looking for just like a good pair of straight leg jeans, jeans that I can wear with like pretty much anything. But I did realize that these have a pleat on them and I just don't really personally like that for myself. These are from the brand D Jeans. It's the recycled vintage denim high waist straight leg ankle. So just like I said, a good classic pair of jeans. And there's like a bunch of stuff about join us in the recycle revolution. So I guess they're made pretty sustainably. And as I say that, make sure you check out my last video where I talked with my dad, who is a professional in the waste industry, has worked in that his entire life in many different roles. We had a whole discussion about sustainability and what you can do to be more sustainable. Funny things like they found in the dumpsters over the years, just kind of weird stuff like that. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Make him go viral. He has been a longtime supporter of my channel and he's always like asking how many comments comments and how many likes and all of that his videos get. So check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, anyway, I am going to sell this because I just don't really like the pleats and I'm sure I'll find a good pair of denim at the thrift store eventually, that's okay. And if you're curious, these are a size 30 and I paid $8 for them. So hopefully I'll at least like make more than $8 when I sell it. I did also pick up this pair of Madewell jeans. I think it was the only Madewell piece of clothing in the entire store and it was kind of funny because I was in a different aisle but I heard this woman say to her friend she was like Madewell oh this is a really good deal for Madewell and I was like put it down put it down put it down and she did put it back and then I skirt skirted over there to check out the pair of jeans and sure enough yeah we got ourselves a really good classic pair of Madewell jeans they do have the original tags on them and they are the 10 inch high rise skinny and they are a size 34. So really, really great size to sell. I really enjoy selling Madewell jeans. The tops, I definitely don't get very much money for, but I like selling their jeans, especially when they are new with tags. 
And I did pay up a bit for me for what I would like to pay for jeans. I paid $12, but because I know they'll sell and they are new with tags, I was pretty happy to get them. Okay, and the last thing I got is really the only like luxury thing I was able to find. From watching some other people's videos, I saw a lot of people get like more luxury brands and they might have paid like 20 to $30 for them, but they'll be able to flip them for maybe 150 to 200. So really good return on that. But at least at my TJ Maxx at this time, there really was like not any high-end pieces. There were a lot of those like very mid-tier brands, like Lucky Brand, things like that, that I just wasn't willing to pay like 10 to $15 for solely to resell. But this was like the one thing that I found that I thought was a dang good deal for what I got. So I'll put a picture in here because you can't really tell very well <laughs> just me holding it up. But it is this really, really pretty kind of like fall floral maxi dress from Drew, which is definitely a good brand. This says the suggested retail is $308 and it does have, you know, its original Drew tags on it. And I was able to get it for seven, which I was super surprised that I was able to get it for that little. I did see the same dress in one other size and I think it was like 15. So I'm not really sure why this one was cheaper. Hopefully I don't find a flaw on it somewhere that would suck. But this is a size small, so not like crazy good, not crazy bad though. I don't think I would have got it personally if it was like an extra, extra small. So this was kind of like my big piece with those Madewell jeans. It would be great if I could sell both of these and just pay for everything, which shouldn't be too terrible, perhaps. Like I said, I did pay $82. But all right, guys, that was everything I got from TJ Maxx for this yellow tag sale. Please let me know down below, did you shop this sale? What good deals did you get? What brands did you pick up? It's super interesting because a lot of TJ Maxx's do have the same items. So you have to be a little bit careful of the market getting oversaturated and you do wanna make sure you look up comps, see how many of a certain item are listed for sale because that's kind of the mistake that I made last time. I did get some good deals, but there was just a lot of it being sold and so that's why a lot of it is still sitting but if you like the video please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe it really does help my channel out a lot i love making these videos for you guys and it would be great if you would join my little family slowly but surely growing thanks again for watching and i will see you next time bye